Hello students, our today's topic is also related to electrolytic conduction, some basic terms part 2 from your plus 2 chemistry book, chapter electrochemistry. In this topic, we will do some numerical problems also. So our first question is, what is electrolytic conduction? The ability of the electrolyte to conduct current is termed as electrolytic conductance or conductivity. As we have studied in our previous topic that electrolytes conduct electric current due to the movement of ions under applied potential difference. So electrolytic solutions also obeys Ohm's law in the same way as metallic or electronic conductors do. As you have studied Ohm's law in your lower classes but let's revise it. Ohm's law states that the current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across it. That is V is proportional to I or V is equal to IR or R is equal to V upon I where V is the potential difference, R is the constant of proportionality and is known as the resistance of solution and I is the current flowing. Let's study some basic terms, their units and related numerical problems. This topic is very important from your final examination point of view and every year one numerical problem is used to come from this topic in your final examination. So first is resistance which is represented by capital R. It measures the obstruction to the flow of current. The resistance of any conductor is directly proportional to the length small l and inversely proportional to area of cross section small a so that R is proportional to L upon A or R is equal to rho L upon A where rho is the constant of proportionality and is called specific resistance or resistivity. The units of resistance is Ohm. So our next term is resistivity or specific resistance that is rho. As we know resistance is equal to rho L upon A and if length is equal to 1 centimeter and area of cross section is equal to 1 centimeter square then resistance is equal to its resistivity. Thus resistivity is defined as the resistance of a conductor of 1 centimeter length and having area of cross section 1 square centimeter. The units of resistivity are, so if we rearrange the formula of resistance, rho is equal to R A upon L. So the units of resistance is ohm, area of cross section is centimeter square and of length is centimeter. Then the units of rho that is resistivity comes out to be ohm centimeter. Its SI units are ohm meter. Let's perform an activity to show that resistance is directly proportional to length of conductor. We can easily find out the resistance of a graphite rod which act as a conductor by using a multimeter. First we have to set the multimeter at 200 ohm. Now it can measure the resistance from 0 to 200 ohm. Now place one terminal of the multimeter on one end of the graphite rod and place the other terminal on the other end of graphite rod and note down the reading on multimeter. Now as we decrease the length of the conductor the resistance also decreases as shown by the multimeter readings. Thus, resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor. Third term is conductance represented by capital G. 
it is the measure of the ease with which the current flows through a conductor it is the reciprocal of resistance that is g is equal to 1 upon r the units of conductance are inverse of resistance that is ohm inverse which is also known as moho or simons fourth term is conductivity or specific conductance that is represented by kappa the inverse of resistivity is called conductivity it may be defined as the conductance of a solution of 1 cm length and having 1 square cm as the area of cross section in other words conductivity is the conductance of 1 cm cube of a solution of an electrolyte thus kappa is inverse of resistivity that is 1 upon rho which is equal to 1 upon r into l upon a by putting the value of rho because rho is equal to r a upon l or kappa is equal if we put 1 upon r is equal to conductance then it becomes g l upon a the units of conductivity are inverse of resistivity that is kappa is equal to 1 upon ohm centimeter or it is equal to per ohm per centimeter or simon per centimeter the term is cell constant represented by g star it is defined as the ratio of distance between two parallel electrodes and their area of cross section so g star is equal to l upon a its units are centimeter inverse students our sixth term is molar conductivity or molar conductance represented by lambda m it is defined as the conducting power of all the ions produced by dissolving one mole of an electrolyte in solution between two parallel electrodes having one square centimeter area of cross section separated by 1 cm so molar conductance lambda m is equal to specific conductance divided by molar concentration it is represented by kappa upon c where c is the concentration of solution in moles per liter that is molarity then molar conductance lambda m is equal to kappa into 1000 divided by capital m that is molarity its unit is simon centimeter square per mole so our last term is equivalent conductivity or equivalent conductance that is lambda eq it is defined as the conducting power of all the ions produced by dissolving 1 gram equivalent of an electrolyte in solution between two parallel electrodes having 1 square cm area of cross section separated by 1 cm so equivalent conductance lambda eq is equal to specific conductance divided by its gram equivalents of solute that is kappa upon c eq and if c eq is the concentration of solution in gram equivalent per liter that is normality then the equivalent conductance lambda eq is equal to kappa in 2000 divided by normality its units are simon centimeter square per gram equivalent so students always remember the formula and the units related to these terms or otherwise you will not be able to solve the numerical problems these all terms are interconnected with each other let's see some numerical problems related to these terms so first is the electrical resistance of a column of 0.05 molar sodium hydroxide solution of diameter 1 cm and length 50 cm is 5.55 into 10 is per 3 ohm calculate its resistivity conductivity and molar conductivity so first of all let's see what is given to us that is resistance r is equal to 5.55 into 10 is per 3 ohm molarity of solution is 0.05 molar length of the column is 50 cm and the diameter is given which is 1 cm from the diameter we can easily calculate the radius that is equal to 0.5 cm 
and from radius by applying the formula of area of column small a is equal to pi r square and by putting the respective values it comes out to be 0 0.785 square centimeter so first of all calculate the resistivity by applying formula rho is equal to r a upon l here r is equal to 5.55 into 10 raise power 3 ohm a is 0 0.785 square centimeter and l is 50 centimeter and rho comes out to be 87.135 ohm centimeter second we have to calculate the conductivity that is kappa which is the reciprocal of resistivity that means it is equal to 1 upon 87.135 ohm centimeter which comes out to be 1.148 into 10 raise power minus 2 simon per centimeter we can easily find out the molar conductivity then lambda m is equal to kappa into 1000 divided by molarity that is equal to 1.148 into 10 raise power minus 2 that is kappa into 1000 divided by molarity 0 0.05 molar which comes out to be 229.6 simon centimeter square per mole so let's do one more numerical a conductivity cell when filled with 0 0.01 molar kcl has a resistance of 745 ohm at 25 degree celsius when the same cell was filled with an aqueous solution of 0 0.005 molar calcium chloride solution the resistance was 874 ohm calculate first conductivity of solution second molar conductivity of solution given that the conductivity of 0 0.01 molar kcl it is equal to 0 0.141 simon per meter in this numerical the same cell is used for two different solutions so if we calculate the cell constant first which is always constant for any type of cell conductivity cell so the value of cell constant can be used for both the solutions and thus we can easily find out the conductivity of uh, second solution so first of all calculate the cell constant by using 0 0.01 molar kcl because conductivity of this solution is given in the numerical statement that is 0 0.141 simon per meter so first of all uh, change the units of conductivity from simon per meter to simon per centimeter so it comes out to be 0 0.141 into 10 raise power minus 2 simon per centimeter so resistance is also given 745 ohm so by applying conductivity formula that is kappa is equal to inverse of resistivity 1 upon rho which is equal to 1 upon r into l upon a here cell constant as we know cell constant is equal to l upon a so by putting the value of cell constant in above relation it comes out to be kappa is equal to 1 upon r into cell constant and thus cell constant is equal to kappa into r that is equal to 0 0.141 into 10 raise power minus 2 simon per centimeter into 745 ohm that is the resistance which comes out to be 1.05 centimeter inverse this is the value of cell constant so by using this value of cell constant we can easily find out the conductivity of 0 0.05 molar calcium chloride whose resistance is 874 ohm which is given so kappa is equal to 1 upon r into cell constant so that means 1.05 divided by 874 ohm this comes out to be 1.201 into 10 raise power minus 3 simon per centimeter so next we have to find out molar conductivity that is lambda m which is equal to kappa into 1000 divided by molarity that is equal to 1.201 into 10 to the power minus 3 
in 2000 divided by molarity 0.005 which comes out to be 240.2 simon centimeter square per mole try to solve both the numericals which i have given to you by yourself and post your answer in the comment section students our next topic is variation of molar conductance with concentration the variation of molar conductance is different for strong and weak electrolytes so first of all let's discuss uh, variation of molar conductance for strong electrolytes the molar conductance of strong electrolytes is found to vary with concentration according to the equation lambda mc that is equal to lambda m0 which is the molar conductance at zero concentration or at infinite dilution minus b under root c where b is the constant depending upon the nature of solvent and temperature lambda m0 is the molar conductance at infinite dilution or at zero concentration this equation is known as d by huckel on sager equation if lambda m is plotted against under root c a linear graph is obtained for low concentration but it is not linear at higher concentration the curve shows that there is a small increase in conductance with dilution because strong electrolytes dissociate completely into ions in the solution so number of ions remains constant at higher concentration the greater interionic interactions prevent the motion of ions therefore conductance fall with the increase in concentration the maximum limiting value at infinite dilution that is at zero concentration is designated as lambda m0 or lambda m infinity now let's discuss the variation of molar conductance for uh, weak electrolytes as weak electrolytes dissociate to much lesser extent as compared to strong electrolytes therefore conductance of weak electrolytes is much lower than that of strong electrolytes at same concentration because of low dissociation so the curve of acetic acid shows that a large increase in conductance with the dilution this is because as the concentration of weak electrolyte is reduced the extent of dissociation increases which results in increase in number of ions hence results in increase in conductance as it is observed from the curve of weak electrolyte we cannot determine the molar conductance at infinite dilution for weak electrolytes this is due to the reason that the curve for weak electrolytes cannot be extrapolated to zero concentration so lambda m0 that is for weak acids or bases cannot be determined experimentally i hope you have subscribed my channel and if not please hit the red button and click the bell icon for further updates thanks for watching